We're going to turn now to the fallout over Lindsay Lohan. The star is headed to jail for 90 days for violating her probation, a sentence she protested last night on Twitter. Listen to what she wrote. It is clearly stated in Article 5 of the UN Universal Declaration of Human Rights that no one shall be subjected to torture or to cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. So does she have a point? Does her punishment fit the crime? Or is she getting some negative star treatment? And after all this, can she be a star again? David Wright has more. Lindsay, are you scared to go to jail? For the next two weeks, Lindsay Lowen is a free woman, but the paparazzi will be watching her every movement. If she drinks in the next 14 days, uh, there could be more jail time. So this is all just flirting with danger. Then again, with accommodations like these to look forward to, who can blame her? The celebrity cell block that recently hosted Paris Hilton is no green mile, but it's not exactly glamorous. The LA Sheriff's Department considers food or cosmetic items contraband, but Lohan would be allowed prescription drugs. According to her probation report, her prescriptions include several powerful drugs, among them Nexium, Zoloft, Trazodone, and sometimes the powerful painkiller Dilaudid. Not since Lohan first became a celebrity in The Parent Trap has her life changed so suddenly. At age 12, she told Good Morning America she hoped her sixth grade friends would be okay with her being a movie star. I hope that this doesn't change them. I hope they don't act like nicer towards me and stuff. You sound like you got your head on pretty straight. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. But the pressures and temptations of stardom quickly caught up with her. In Mean Girls, she was a teenager struggling to be popular. In Freaky Friday, she was magically forced to grow up too fast. I'm old! I beg your pardon? By the time Lowen appeared in A Prairie Home Companion, cracks were beginning to show. She was already developing a reputation for partying too much. 30 days in jail on the first DUI case consecutive. The question now, can she come back from all this? I have three words for anybody who thinks her career is over. Robert Downey Jr. No one would have thought Robert Downey Jr. could bounce back, and he did in a huge way. This nightmare experience might even do her some good. For Good Morning America, David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles. And let's dig into that question now with veteran Hollywood publicist Howard Bragman. Good morning, Howard. And I know you've spoken morning, with Lindsay's camp. How, what, what's your sense of, of their next steps? You know, it's really, the responsibility is Lindsay's now. Um, I think we have, we have a community that wants her to succeed, that wants her to get beyond this, but we can't want it more than she wants it, George. And she has to be willing to say, I've screwed up, I've made mistakes, I take responsibility, and I'm going to live my life in a different way. And that's not what we've heard up until Well, yeah, that doesn't point. seem and to be where she is right now. I mean, you know, everybody's been talking about that, that fingernail stencil. Uh, Lindsay herself weighed in last night night on Twitter. Uh, she tried to say it had nothing to do with the court. It's an airbrush design from a stencil. So there's a little bit of an explanation there, but no apology. Well, and, and she's consistently, she's given us explanations and not apologies. And it, it really hasn't been working. And, and what's sad about the airbrush story is a, a study came out yesterday that said she wasn't on any drugs other than the approved prescription drugs. And that got buried by her fingernail, you know, antics. And it's, you just want to say, grow up, Lindsay. So, you know, you're, you're making millions of dollars and there's other people's jobs responsible because because of your actions. Would an apology do Go any good at this point? I think that some time has to pass. There's, in the cases like this, you, you need the secret ingredient of enough time. If she comes out of jail and then her rehab or her halfway house after jail and really says, I've learned, I've accepted responsibility, I've made mistakes, I do believe that people are willing to forgive her. We're, we're a very forgiving society. And in fact, we, we embrace people who've made mistakes in society. But, but again, the, the responsibility on her, George. It is, you know, and we saw in the piece Robert Downey Jr., the gold standard for the comebacks. I spoke with both Robert Downey and Mickey Rourke recently, and one thing I really took away uh, from those conversations was that they got it. They knew that they had hit bottom. They knew that their career and their lives were in peril, and they weren't going to do anything to jeopardize that. And, and, and Lindsay seems to be quite far away from that point. 
absolutely. We don't get the sense that she understands the, the havoc she's wreaking on people she's doing business with, on her team, on her agents and managers, and, and the, the stuff that's falling onto their shoulders, because we all want the same thing. You know, George, if this girl didn't have talent, none of us would care. She's an amazingly talented actor. She can open movies. She's gifted. And somebody said to me, where do you think Lindsay will be in 10 years? And I said, one of three things. She'll either be forgotten, she'll tragically be dead, or she'll win an Academy Award. But really, the choice is her, hers at this point, and she's the one who has to look inwards and get beyond her current problems. Okay, Howard Brightman, thanks very much for your insight. Thanks, George. As you know, this story has generated an enormous response on our website. Tell us what you think today. Go to abcnews.com slash GMA and weigh in on our shout-out board.